Hey guys, it is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Um, I hope you can hear me because I have my airpods on. But it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Everyone is out and about. Um, it's really chill, it's so nice. Like the air is crisp, the sun is out. It is not warm enough though, but it is out. We have to be thankful for the little things sometimes. And I feel like I've been cooked up in my apartment watching Netflix while everyone else is out. One thing about the Brits though is they will come out when the sun is out. So it's nice to see like people on the street. Um, it's very refreshing. But I'm on my way to Little to go do a little grocery run um, so that I can cook some good food tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful outside. Welcome to today's video. I want to do a haul uh, quickly. I have bought a few items. It's my first she in order. I am super excited and a bit nervous. For the longest time, I've been hesitant to place an order on she in because I was like, you know, like when you go on there, the display picture looks really nice, but when you see people's pictures of the package that they receive it just looks a bit shady and it just looks like mm, i don't know if i want to spend my money in this thing but i finally did and i picked out a few safe items for my first order but i just thought i should share it with you guys i also got some stuff as well from tesco um tesco has a clothing line guys i don't know this i don't think it's a tesco clothing line but it's at Tesco and I saw a few things that I really liked so I picked those out as well I don't know which one to start with let me start with the Tesco one the first thing that I got at Tesco and I'll try these things and leave like a video somewhere here is this black and white t-shirt um, it's like a woven material it's like a bit of wool 
um i don't know if you guys are able to tell but it's just this t-shirt that i really liked from tesco um it's this brand called f and f i don't know what that is but i really like this and i thought let me just grab it the second thing is this like black vest thing that's the full um piece i really like this it's also like a knitted ribbed material it's kind of warm ish but it's so flattering i tried it on i'll also leave a video somewhere here the next thing that i got at tesco is just this plain it's like an off-white shirt type of thing um it's like an off-white shirt like i don't know if you guys can tell i can't like hold it up <laughs> very well but i hope you guys can see it is long sleeved i just felt like i needed something to wear on top of like um bodysuits because london does get a bit windy and a bit cold ish even in the summer you need like something so i just thought i should buy this the fourth item is these cotton pants um they just like cotton pants that are like that long <laughs> they are a bit long on me because i'm a short girl um but i got these in this um sort of green color that i really like i got i got the same pair of pants as well in a nude color let's move on to the shein haul right so from shein i got like i said a few safe items um let me start with the safest items that i actually bought so i got i got these sandals this pair of sandals um those black sandals um i thought i needed something to wear now that it's summer most of my shoes in london are like sneakers hot and now it's summer and stuff so i bought these it's actually quite cute like if you see the light the the sole of this thing and what it's made of it's like this material it's like i don't know what it's like but like it's not not like a normal um sole and then the top is like that um this here doesn't stretch actually but i'm not mad i think my my foot is gonna fit in here and then it's got like this strap i really like these i liked it when i saw them on the picture the second pair of shoe that i bought which i really really love i was so impressed guys when i opened this is these brown sandals as well so i also got these brown sandals um they are really cute guys like the quality is unmet like i'm so impressed with she in's quality on these shoes like I really like these um i got these in a size six they they're really cute they're really flat they like let's go on vacation somewhere on the beach type of vibe so i got this sling bag which i really adore i saw it on the picture and i was like oh my god that looks so cute so i got this because i have a trip coming up in a few weeks where i am gonna need to have my phones and my keys and my ids and everything in one place and in something that i i don't want to like hold all the time like a bag so i just thought i should get this it's really cute i'm impressed at the quality of this thing um i don't know if you guys are like it actually clips and unclips i don't know if you guys are interested in like um links to these things I, I hope i don't forget but maybe i'll leave them down in the description box on the not so safe side the safe side was the shoes i mean you can't go wrong with the shoe right it's either you buy your size or you don't <laughs> so on the not so safe side i got this this is actually a pair of jeans which okay okay I'm liking the quality of how they feel it's like a pair of jeans this is the waistline they are not adjustable or anything I don't know if this is gonna be big on me or it's gonna fit but it's a bit stretchy um, I got this in a size where is she in do they even write sizes I got this in a size large because 
the reviews on this jean was that it runs a bit small i'm normally a size medium but i just got this in a size large and that's it's like a straight leg jeans um type of situation as you guys can see these jeans actually leave a bit of a gap um behind but i'm not so mad i found a hack to like make jeans fit me but at least the length is exactly what i was looking for so these jeans make me happy i'm so happy the quality is good it fits me so well uh maybe i'll share the hack to adjust your waistline without sewing jeans maybe on a short um sometime on the on my channel we'll see the other thing that i got is this jumper how cute is this jumper oh my gosh it's so cute guys it's so cute it's like this long sleeve i don't know how long this is gonna be on my arm it looks a bit short but i'm gonna try this out and see how it looks but i really like it it's so cute it's so so cute i like this v-neck um it's it doesn't feel thick though like it's not thick or anything it's very it's very light i'm sure you can see through it maybe no you can't see through it actually that's good but it's actually very light it's something you'd probably if it's really cold it's something you'd want to layer up but i like this sweater so much i've got these slip on slip is it slip on these ones i think they're cute i really oh guys the sun here yeah. but i really like this color like this is how they look i love this just looking at them i think they're so cute i think they're really cute i like them so much um i can't wait to try these like i said i'm going on vacation soon soon so this is giving like definitely beach vibe cocktails by the beach you know yeah the last item it was a very short order the last item is these these um uh what do, what do you call them um what keep getting out of my mind body suits it's like those three set body suits um type of things okay i'm not okay the material is not bad it's like a ribbed it's a ribbed material yeah it's like this ribbed material it's really soft and I got them in different designs. You guys will see when I fit them. So this is the first one. Yeah, you can sort of figure out how this works. So like this will be like this. Tap away. And it is a bodysuit. The second one is just a normal. Um, it's like this deeper brown nude color. And it's just a normal neckline there. And that's how it is the third one is this deep brown one it's like really really like this deep brown i love this color so much it's so nice like the material is nice the color is nice and also in size large the last one is a black one the black one is not a ribbed material and i've seen people like review sheen on this um but this is what it looks like this looks smaller than the rest of them as well and the the neckline is like a square is it a square or a rectangle it's like this you guys get what i mean right it's like yeah so this is the last one so yeah that's everything um i'm gonna try them on now so i can show you guys in the videos what they look like hey guys um i just got back from work it's a monday today it is so hot in this room i honestly just need to get a fan but i want to unbox with you this box i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited I just want to unbox this box with you. I ordered this 
a few days ago and I ordered this a few days ago and it's finally been delivered today I got the email while I was at the office and I thought there's no way I have to unbox this with you guys because this is such a milestone for this channel again so I went ahead and ordered myself a new camera and I ordered from Canon I was like I need the real deal like I'm gonna order it from the original Canon store so I went online and I ordered it they were having a sale um, so I just want to unbox it with you guys it is in such a big box but I promise you it is not a big camera at all I don't know why they always put like so much but this is basically the little box I'm just gonna put this down this is the camera that we are unboxing today I bought a whole entire kit so it comes with like everything in here I don't know if I'm in frame right now because I'm using the back camera on my phone which is something that I'm hoping this camera is gonna solve so let's unbox it so i know i'm not in frame but i just i just wanted to bring you guys closer to the actual product so you guys can see it you don't need to see my face but hopefully you are able to hear me so this is how the box looks like put in a whole lot of things in here so i said i've got a kit guys oh my gosh i'm so excited um what is this what is this Ooh, okay so this is the mic um fluff thing like this is the mic fluff thing where you know like to block out um external noise i suppose so that's the one thing in this box hey guys i realized that in some of the clips i'm not actually in frame or like what i'm showing you is very like out of frame right at the top of the screen i'm so sorry i couldn't see anything because i was using my back camera but i hope you guys get the idea of the stuff that i'm unboxing and hopefully this camera is gonna solve this exact problem the next thing is the star of the show it's so heavy so the next thing is the star of the show which is this canon um i got the r50 so initially i wanted to buy the m50 but the m50 was the last version of the cameras that canon has and the r range is the new one that they have so i thought let me just get it in the new range um yeah so i got this and that's basically all of the document stuff that i probably am not going to read but i should um so this like i said guys this was a whole kit so it came with the tripod right and it came with the mic and then in here i have the battery charger so this is like where you put in your battery to charge and then i got a an sd card it's a 32 gig sd card this is also part of the kit um and then it has obviously like a charging cable for the battery and what else it also comes with a strap like a canon strap for strapping on your on your camera and then the actual battery i believe i'm gonna have to buy an extra battery i saw it on amazon for about 45 pounds so maybe i'll just order it as well just so i have two batteries and not have to like constantly think about batteries because these things run out especially when you're vlogging so that's the battery and then we have the actual body of the camera i'm so excited you guys so this is the actual camera guys it's so light like it's so light i'm loving it this is the actual camera this is the front that is the back uh it has all the controls it has all the controls again it has a flash 
and it obviously has like the display screen which tilts to the front so i can see myself like right now i cannot see myself because i'm using the back camera on my phone but with this i'll be able to look at myself and i can tilt it back as well depending on what it is that i'm shooting i really love this obviously the next thing that I was really excited about on this camera was the where is the audio jack yes the mic area so like this little thing here that you can put like a mic in there so this this would go you guys can you guys even see am i still in frame yeah so basically this thing right this would go in there in here and then it would record like the sound through the mic and let me tell you in the last camera that i owned i bought a camera before from canon as well um and i ended up selling it because it didn't have the audio jack and so the sound was really bad um it was an m it was an m100 at the time when i bought it so this time i was very peculiar about the type of camera like ensuring that it has an audio jack i was very specific about that so yeah this is the r50 from canon i'm so excited to own it i'm so excited to use it um all the controls are here like stuff i don't know how to use are here i hope i'm gonna learn through it because i'm so excited to start using this camera and then this is this is the camera and then the last thing that is in here is the lens so the last thing is the lens i think that's about it in here. yeah the last thing is the lens this is so this is the lens that i get with the camera it comes with the camera it is um an 18 to 45 millimeter lens at 4 4.5 frames i think per second that's how you read it guys i'm so bad at learning cameras i don't know the lingo i don't know but yeah it's a it's an 18 to 45 millimeter and basically um that is how it looks i presume no this side is the lens so this side is the lens it's actually quite small i think i might have to buy like a bigger lens but you basically like strap it on here actually let's see if i can put it on so you basically just yes attach it and it clicks and basically that is how the camera is gonna look i hope i'm in frame because i cannot see anything honestly it's so bad but yeah that's basically how it looks i like the way it grips like this thing this thing this like you can like grip on it it's so nice guys this is basically how it's gonna look right i didn't like attach this it has a it has a whole tray that um for now i'm struggling to put on but i'm gonna learn through it so this has like a little tray that it sits on and then it's like i don't need to hold it it's like on the little tray and i can just hold this but this is how the camera looks like this is the tripod with all the controls um in there this is like a little remote like it's detachable so i can put this down and like do a shooting but i just wanted to show you how it looks um finally this is yeah this is the equipment and i like that i have a mic because i feel like i need clearer sound so i like that i have a mic now and basically that's how the camera looks i really like it i like how lightweight it is the tripods that this tripod grip is a bit heavy or maybe the camera is heavy with the lens actually it might be but yeah that's basically how it is um, i don't think i'll start vlogging with it just yet um i still want to like learn the settings um so i need to set it up and do all of those things maybe in the next vlog um i'll be using 
the camera hopefully i would have learned a few things but yeah i just wanted to show you this is how it looks and this is basically the final thing i have not put in the battery yet so i can't turn it on i don't know what the quality of this lens looks like but i don't have much faith in it because based on my prior experience with buying a camera and a lens the lens that they give you is not really that powerful so i might need to get a new lens for this camera but it's not something i'm gonna do now i am still recovering from the cost of buying this camera this is how it should look like everything is set now everything is done i can record uh so this is yeah this is basically the kit so i bought it as a kit and it comes with everything in here um i'm so glad i'm so glad that everything comes together because i wouldn't want to buy the mic separately the lens the body the tripod grip so i'm glad like everything came together but i just wanted to show you this is how it looks i hope i'm in frame but the next time i'm vlogging i hope i won't have to say that because i will be able to see myself if i'm in frame Bedford again for a training that I am a part of like so I'm recording this video in the bathroom because this is the place with the best light so bear with me if there's any like sounds I hear the ventilator is on because the lights are on but I'm in Bedford and we're doing this training um, developing self and others like it's so i'm being trained i'm not the trainer this time like i came to be trained basically they're training like coaching and you know like um being a manager and having difficult conversations giving feedback you know those type of things but i'm really enjoying the training so far um so yeah i just wanted to come in and, and check in today was day one tomorrow is day two um it's in the evening now i just got back from the training in fact i was working a little bit um and then i just stopped working now because it's about half six to seven we have dinner at seven so i want to go back out for dinner but i just thought i should come say hey guys <laughs> and just to let you guys know what's happening i want to wash my face before dinner so i don't have to do it afterwards but yeah it was such a great day um bama in the morning like the one thing that irks me about trains in london is how they can just have delays literally five minutes before you're supposed to leave because i spent a whole hour waiting for the train in the morning i was supposed to get here at like um quarter i think quarter past nine in the morning but i ended up getting here at like 10 a.m because of that delay but anyway i got here just before they started um and then um yeah, let me start this thing actually let me start prepping my face and then um i got here we started with the training and then midway <sighs> midway in the training we had like a fire alarm guys like a whole fire alarm went on and it wasn't it wasn't a you know like how they have like a fire drill at certain times of the day that like they notify like they want to see if it works and whatever this is not one of those things and everyone in the room was so calm because we're so used to like false fire alarms so we were just like oh, it's probably a fault but it wasn't actually a fault um so we had to evacuate the building and everything i'm gonna turn you this side so i can wash my face while i talk so we had to like evaluate evaluate evacuate the building um but then it turns out like 
it was a false alarm in a way but i mean there was smoke detected and whatever but it wasn't disruptive it was like we're probably out for like five minutes and they figured out what the issue was which was actually quite commendable if you ask me so yeah that's what i'm doing here this water is hot okay that's better so i'm using um the dove beauty bar to like cleanse my face but another thing you guys um i don't know how i'm gonna do this but <laughs> i am traveling next week um on tuesday i am going to portugal by the time you see this vlog i'll probably be in portugal if i would have had time to edit it before i leave but i'm stressed because um my brp which is my residence permit has not returned and i can't travel without it like i can't, can't i can't get back into the country without my residence permit so i submitted it um a few weeks ago actually beginning of um beginning of june guys i don't know if you noticed like the brown stuff on my face i had a bit of foundation but because i don't have wipes here i'm just using the soap to remove that so i was saying i submitted my brp oh my shirt is ruined i submitted my brp a few weeks ago to the post office to get my uk driver's license i hadn't done it guys it's been 18 months and i just decided you know what at some point you're gonna have to do this thing you're gonna need a car so just get the license so i submitted it uh for my license as a proof of identification but i still haven't received it back and it's been like three weeks now um next week is gonna be uh the fourth week normally their turnaround time they say is two weeks so in my mind and based on my planning i should have received this thing last week already but i still haven't received it back and i'm traveling on tuesday so i don't know what's supposed to happen i have no idea what's supposed to happen but and i'm not in london <laughs> i'm not in london um but i'm hoping it's gonna come back at least maybe if it i'm hoping it comes back between today and tomorrow or by the very latest on monday so that i can fly on tuesday but if it's not in the post box by the time i get back to london tomorrow um i'm gonna have to go to the post office or i'm gonna have to pray really hard that it comes back before i have to travel so yeah so yeah guys i hope like it comes back it normally has a turnaround time of two weeks but i guess i am now on week three i'm an outlier i guess i know in this case but i hope it comes back because yo i've spent so much money on this trip like it just needs to happen <laughs> and i need to go so i'm just gonna put um some retinol on my skin like i guys i don't have a complicated skin routine honestly the dark beauty bar that you see me wash my face with and this retinol and i put on the retinol in the evening and then i put on like um niacinamide in the morning this is literally my skincare routine and sunscreen those are the only things i put on my screen like i don't double cleanse with cleanser or anything i don't tone i don't uh do all of that stuff 
number one it's a lot of steps for me to keep up with um number two um i want to say like the product ever since i had a bad breakout last year i've just been very selective with which products i put on my face and also the amount of products that i put on my face because i also feel like as much as you know salicylic acid might be good for your face but sometimes if you combine for example salicylic acid and um and niacinamide it might not have the best effect on your face each individually might be good for you but together might not be the best and that's what i've sort of found so i've stopped using a lot of products on my face and to be quite honest with you this has been working so well for me and i think i'm just gonna keep to it so i only use like two pro well yeah three products on my face and that is other than cleansing which is the the dove beauty bar i'll use the retinol in the evening and in the morning i'll use niacinamide and sunscreen so literally that's all i use i don't even use a moisturizer i don't even use toner i don't use all of that other stuff i don't use a vitamin c i actually have a vitamin c serum and it burns my face like it literally burns my face so much um and then i i stopped using it so these are the only things i use so for now like this is my skincare routine for the evening i'm literally done um i'm just gonna head out to dinner and yeah go have dinner come back i do have work that i should be doing but honestly i am tired also my shirt is wet it looks like i put something on it um here yeah. let me go down for dinner and then uh wait maybe should i do like a room tour like do you guys want to see that okay let's do a quick room tour and then i'm gonna go down for dinner so that's the doorway where you come in they have like this little passage this little like area here um and they have a mirror on that side uh i hope i'm showing it correctly and then right after that door and this door is the bathroom um yeah you literally just have the shower there um the basin i was doing my face right there and the toilet is on the side i don't know how good this is gonna be but out the bathroom um is like the counter area i was just doing a bit of work there sending emails and stuff but this is the side of the bedroom um that i was sort of working on um we have a tea coffee station there um and then we have the bedroom window and the bed is on the side i just have a bit of my stuff on there and yeah that's that's basically it really um and they've got some beautiful wall art and that's how it looks this area here is like the cupboard space if you came in with like things that need to be hanged or whatever and then um we come back to the workstation which i need to come back to and do a bit of work so yeah that's about it guys let me go down and have some breakfast this was my outfit like i was so lazy in the morning i was like i just want to throw on jeans and like something because the dress code the dress code was casual and i really took advantage of it so yeah morning guys it is a new day today is saturday i'm back home and i want to go get my nails done actually i want to have the whole maintenance thing um i don't do it every month but i guess that's the name <laughs> so i'm gonna go do my mini it's been a second it's actually been a month with these nails and they are so done for 
so i'm gonna go do um a full mani and a full pedi um and then i'm gonna do my hair tomorrow i also when i get my hair cut i think it's so overgrown i can even comb it like that's how bad it is <laughs> so i'm gonna go get a cut excuse me but i'm gonna do my hair tomorrow on sunday because oh my god i'm gonna do my hair tomorrow on sunday because um saturdays tend to get full at the barber for some reason everyone wants to do their hair on saturday and i don't like waiting and my barber doesn't have like an appointment schedule it's like a first come basis so i'm not gonna go today because it's probably gonna be full i'm gonna go tomorrow and then for my nails i've made an appointment for 11 30. what time is it now anyway oh it's currently like 10 30. i've made my appointment for 11 30 so i need to leave at like 11 ish um yeah i am having breakfast this morning just yogurt and berries um something to eat just before i go into the salon because a standard mini and petty takes about two hours so i know i'm gonna probably come back from there around um half 11 half 12 around half one um and i'm gonna be hungry but yeah on other news um i got my brp back like i got my brp back so yesterday when i was in bedford i got an email and they're like hey uh we're delivering your id document today and i was like yeah i was so relieved guys i was so relieved because i'm traveling on tuesday i don't know if i mentioned this but i probably did in another clip um that i'm going to portugal on tuesday and my brp was with the licensing department i'm trying to get my uk license um and i was so relieved yesterday when they emailed me and they're like it's coming because i thought it was gonna take two weeks um that's normally their time period but mine took three weeks so it's back i'm so glad um and that's why i feel like today i have like energy to go and like do my maintenance um yo guys like my socials like my instagram is just buzzing with people whose families have visited them in the uk like two of my friends have their mom and their dad here and they're doing all the touristy stuff they're like taking pictures on on um tower bridge going to the shard doing right on the thames like it's so amazing to watch like ugh, guys it's so amazing to watch and i know like how much they've wanted you know their parents to to come um to the uk and just spend like a week with them or like two weeks with them and just like affording your parents the opportunity to travel internationally like that's something um among the black community um in south africa that's not usual like it's such a heartwarming experience to see them do all of these things like one friend of mine took um his parent his his dad to the arsenal stadium um they went to manchester they went to many like those experiences i wish i wish that for my parents i wish that for my brothers as well um i was also planning to have my family come up now in june um because it's in the summer but a lot of stuff happened back home um and we ended up dropping the the trip but i hope I hope at some point um, they will be able to come up and we'll be able to have those experiences together. I mean, I, I don't know, but I can't wait <laughs> to just see the look on my mom and my dad's face after that 11 hour flight and just, yeah, just the, the expectation of this place and what this what they think this place is gonna be like. So it's just been beautiful to watch, man. Um, and just see people like going out on brunch dates and um having lunch with their moms like it's it's really nice it's really nice but yeah let me eat um and i'm gonna leave in about 20 minutes and i'll catch you guys up when i get back <laughs> Uh, can I 
have sweet sour chicken, stir fried beef. guys I am back um, I wanted to show you so I got my nails done um, with this bright orange like it's giving summer it's giving you know like I really like this color I think it goes so well with my skin tone but yeah that's what I got I wanted to show you quickly I got some stuff <laughs> from Primark um, I told myself I wasn't going to shop, but I remembered when I was there that I need a few things for this trip. So, let me put this here. Actually. The first thing that I got is this backpack. How cute is this? So, I got this backpack um, from Primark i am not this is so on brand because i'm not a handbag girl like honestly i'm not a handbag girl so when i'm traveling i need like a backpack type of thing to pack all my stuff and the reason i bought this is because i want to use this as my beach bag um in portugal um again because beach bags are normally like handbags and that's really not my thing so i decided to get like this um this backpack instead and then i got some flops of course if you're on holiday beach sand whatever just got flops and then i got these shorts this beige shorts as well um mainly because i like a lot of shorts you buy for for ladies or for girls are like really really short like when you wear it it's it's just under your bum and i really don't like those kind of shorts any anymore like i do have them but i don't like them anymore so i decided to get one that is a bit longer like it has a bit of length between um your your bum area and like a bit of length like that so i hope this fits me i didn't get a chance to fit it primark was so full and i was really just lazy but it is my size so i'm hoping to yeah use this as one of my outfits and then the last thing that i got um is this swimsuit i wanted to get one in orange because my nails are orange and I just thought it would go well together. So I got this like this swimsuit there. I think it goes with my nails. Like honestly, like look at that. Look at that. I really like it. Yeah, so that's all I got. I also went to that noodle bar that I showed you. And I got some noodles for lunch, which is what I'm going to have. I was planning on cooking today, but it's already 3.30 and I'm kind of tired. And I still need to shoot a video for tomorrow and edit it and upload it um so i still have a lot to do so i just decided to just buy lunch instead um and that's what i'm gonna have i think i'm gonna close off the vlog here i think it's long enough i hope you guys like it um if you do please comment down below let me know which part of this vlog was your favorite let me know what more you would like to see on the channel as well and if you haven't subscribed already we have hit 8000 subs i'm so excited thank you guys so much for subscribing um actually i'm not even going to ask you to subscribe on this video i just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed um and i really really appreciate it i really appreciate the milestone that we've reached i think in the next vlog we will start using the camera and i hope the quality will, will be a, a lot better although i think my quality is is pretty good i mean for a phone i think i'm doing pretty well but i'm excited to start using the camera in the next vlog and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to comment your favorite part like this video share it with your friends and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye